What's up with the game K-pop here um, with the K-pop vlog. Um, I just wanted to do this uh, for two things. Um, one, I really wanted to do something different, uh, you know, other than my average, you know, uh, K-pop reviews, uh, which can sometimes I think may get a little bit dull and boring. Um, so I just wanted to do something different, mix up some stuff up. And uh, since I really got little to, well, literally no feedback at all on the whole uh, K-pop viewer's choice idea uh, video thing that I posted up just asking what you guys think about that that idea since I got no re no no response I just thought just to do this instead so um, K-pop vlog is gonna be something I'm gonna start now I'm gonna talk about uh, three topics that I find interesting going on in K-pop so the three things I'm gonna talk about first is gonna be uh, this new um, promotional poster that YG uh, just put up uh, yesterday saying who's next second um, Stardom Entertainment, home to Block B and girl group Evil, uh, new boy band Top Dog, as well mm -hmm. as uh, mm -hmm. Tiffany's opening pitch uh, at the LA Dodgers game last night. So first off, I'll talk about uh, the, the new poster. Uh, YG Entertainment had um, just released a, a, a poster, a promotional poster or whatever, or image um, on their site, Twitter is everywhere, uh, YG, um, that... Uh, Type, it has like all the names of all the YG artists and you know Big Bang and even the you know members of the group has their own name and CL and all that other stuff and it says who's next is and in bold it's, it's printed who's next and it says May 28th um, so I don't know if this means a return for Tang solo comeback uh, CL's first solo single um, a 21 comeback a new artist from YG no one knows we'll have to wait to see May 28th now I know a lot of people say that you know um, this is uh, something, you know, this is YG trolling like a mofo. He's going to delay it once the 28th comes. Um, and everyone, you have the right to be precautious about that because I've made tons of, quite a few videos late last year leading up to 2013 of my disappointment with the consistent delays and, and you know, um, disappointments coming from YG. But what makes me believe that they probably won't troll with this is because I've always noticed with, with YG any verbal statement that YG makes in terms of, you know, referring to a comeback or a debut, that always gets delayed. But anything that he uh, puts out, like, you know, a, a, a teaser image or a photo or something or, um, you know, a video package, whatever, whatever have you, um, anything that he uses in multimedia um, and, and, and it has a date on it, like, that's when you're going to actually get that debut or that comeback or that return um, or whatever um, coming from YG. I've always I've, I've noticed that. So it's me to believe or gives me to believe that he won't troll with this here because it's a it's, it's a poster and it actually has a, uh, an official uh, date on it. So that's what makes me think that uh, he, he's not going to, you know, troll with this here. But if it was a verbal agreement and, and he said or someone from YG says, hey, May 28th, such and such is going to debut or make a return, then I'll be leery. But because he actually has a, a, a poster out um, advertising it, an advertisement, that's what I was looking for, an advertisement, um, it may, that makes me to believe he probably won't troll uh, with it um, since it's almost it's kind of etched in stone, I guess you could say. Um, second thing I want to talk about, um, Startup Entertainment's brand new boy band, Top Dog, T-O-P-P-D-O-G-G. Two P's, two G's. Um, a lot of people, I don't think, probably know of this. Um, Top Dog are a hip-hop duo boy band. No one's ever seen them before. Their identity is still uh, yet to be revealed. But um, they were announced to, to debut actually last year in 2012. For whatever reason, Stardom ended up not debuting them and ended up uh, you know, bringing out Evil instead. Um, now, everyone knows the Big Q scandal, you know, that's going on between, and legal battle that's going on between Stardom Entertainment and Block B, and it's still continuing to go, going forward. Um, however, um, my thing is, I think that Stardom Entertainment are kind of slowly building Top Dog up, in my opinion, I think, to replace Block B. Um, and here's the simple fact is because, okay, even though Top Dog were announced to be to debut last year, like summer last year, and they got delayed, when the whole Block B thing incident came out late last year, that's when Stardom Entertainment they released a snippet of a hip song of a, a, a snippet of uh, one of Top Dog's songs in that January or later that January. That's when they released that. 
Um, and it's not a bad song. It's a nice urban hip hop sound um, song. It's a nice track. But that's what I started to notice. Then as you, and first, first, first we get to, you know, uh, get deeper and deeper into the whole legal issue between the band and the company. Um, I've noticed that they start to release more little snippets of Top Dog's um, music. And just recently, about, I would say no more than maybe a week to a week and a half ago, they've released a mixtape of Top Dog. It's not an official album release, but it's a mixtape. So that's just as good um, of, of getting them out there. He's already released a mixtape of Top Dog. And again, like I said, their identities have still not been unveiled to the public. But um, I just feel like uh, I think stardom, I think are, are, are they're kind of setting themselves up here where I don't think they're going to bulge in this whole case with with Block B and Block B saying that, you know, hey, you didn't pay us. So, you know, you ripped us off pretty much. You, didn't, you never paid us for all of our, our you know, uh, um, uh, activities and whatnot. But 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 they're saying we did pay you and this, that, blah, blah, blah. So I don't think Stardom is going to budge, and if worse come to worse, and they sever ties with Block B and terminate their contracts, I think they'll be okay with that, because they'll be like, hey, we got another boy band we're gearing up. So I don't think that's really wise. I see it coming. I just feel it. Um, and I know once Top Dog, once they officially make their debut, I think they're going to get a lot of flack um, from Block B fans. Unjustably, because, you know... It's not their fault, you know, for, you know, the whole thing that's going on between Block B and the company. But um, my thing is with Stardom, why do you keep making these new groups? I mean, you have this legal issue with Block B because you didn't pay them. They barely promote evil. Why are they still pumping in and pumping out new artists and still making new artists? Where are you getting the money from this? I mean, if you claim to really pretty much have no money, where are you getting the money to invest in these stars obviously you're ripping it off the kids parents or something because why are you still keep making these artists um even show pd himself to me is starting to be a little shady because recently he got into a recent scandal where uh there was some type of charity event or maybe not chair um like a uh, 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 uh an endorsement deal that he had where they paid him money and he was going to be like the spokesman um for this 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 brand or this this product or something he's supposed to advertise or like I said or perhaps some charity event or something he's supposed to show up at. Cho P D ends up taking the money but not showing up. And so now they're suing him for, you know, taking their money but not doing what he's supposed to do, you know, in his his part of the deal. And I just find that very strange. You know, Cho P D has always for years has always been a controversial, you know, say whatever he wants at the top of his mind, kind of like person in K pop. And I've always been fine with that. I've always been comfortable with that. Because uh, he just he, he keeps he keeps it real, but for him to do this here, it's really really shady and really unlike Chu PD and his character, and it really makes me get a second thought about the guy. Um, so I mean that whole company, Stardom Entertainment, is very very shanky and shady to me. Um, it's something about that company, starting from the top from Chu PD, trickling all the way down. It's something in that company that's not right that I will probably put on par with CCM. Something's not right in that company. I don't know what it is. But you guys give me your thoughts on that. Um, and then last but not least, um, Tiffany. I don't know why I'm smiling. But you guys probably already know. Um, Tiffany of Girls' Generations did a first opening pitch last night at the L.A. Dodgers game. Uh, her hometown, L.A. Um, and uh, it was just it was just cute. Um, it was an epic fail. She threw the first pitch. Because when she threw the ball, the ball just like awkwardly just like. Her hair got in her face as, as the ball was released from her hand. And it just, like, went in the outer zone. <laughs> I think it's the kill zone. I think it went in. It just went in the kill zone. And it just, like, it just plopped over to the side. Very hilarious. I mean, it, it was funny. It was funny, but it was still adorable. And still, she still was adorable and cute with the little kitty-like ears. Um, within the first hour, like, maybe 35 minutes to the hour after she had done the whole pitch... Um, Baby Cake, which is a, a, a Tumblr uh, that I follow, person I follow on Tumblr, uh, is a Tiffany uh, only uh, Tumblr fan site that I follow on Tumblr. And like, was just in that for 35 minutes to an hour, she had like uploaded Baby Cake and uploaded like 50 pictures of Tiffany from the game and various GIFs. And I'm like, I have to download these. I'm downloading them now. Yes. Um, and then within that hour, 
um, the Mr. K-Pop fan and I were talking about and chatting about it via Facebook and text. Um, OMG Catherine, uh, she posted up some stuff and some links this morning on my Facebook page. The Mr. K-Pop fan posted up links and stuff on my Facebook page. So I'm just like, I wake up this morning and I'm giddy with all these links and stuff to Tiffany and the baseball game and throwing the first pitch and, and all these pictures and stuff they're giving me. Um, from the Mr. K-Pop fan, from the Mr. K-Pop fan and OMG Catherine, um, all these things that they're giving me, and I'm just like giddy with excitement. I'm like, I must download these all. I must watch these and save them to my YouTube account. I'm just like, I, I, I loved it. Um, I thought it was cute. Even though she failed and bombed, I still thought it was adorable. Um, I still question what was worse, hers or Jessica's first pitch. Um, uh, Mr. K-pop fan and I both agreed Jessica's first pitch was probably the worst since, um, like, when she threw the ball, it just, like, it barely, like, left the distance between, it, it was still, like, in front of her. I mean, at least Tiffany gave it some distance. The ball barely had any distance, uh, when Jessica threw it, but, um, it was still, a, it's still adorable, and I was just getting, I just loved it, and I have, like, 50 pictures and GIFs from that whole, just that whole segment. It's like probably like a minute and 28 seconds long of her just to throw first pitch. But I have them and I'm still downloading more pictures. So um, you guys give me your thoughts um, on this video series and on these three topics. Um, do yourself a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.